And now for our Flamingo, I've got a white 160. I've blown up about four or five inches of it. I've got a black 160 and I've blown up a little more than half of it. I've got a yellow 160 with about a five inch tail and a pink 260 with about a four inch tail. I'm gonna start with my black 160. Make sure it's soft. I'm gonna make a fold twist so that when it's folded, it's a little wider than two fingers there. Another fold twist about the same size. And then we're gonna make our flamingos beat. So we're gonna make about a three and a half to four inch bubble. And then we're gonna make a longer bubble because we wanna get that little arc on it there that flamingos have in their beak. And then we're gonna pop the rest of this off when no longer need it. Just like that. So there's his beak. Now we're gonna take our pink 260 and our white 160. And I'm gonna tie the ends of these together. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take that beak and I'm gonna just wrap those around that secure them together. Then I'm going to take and make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble out of each of those by twisting them together just like that. Then another bubble the same size by just twisting them together again. Just like that. I think that's a little smaller. I want to make sure that they're about the same or by different sized eyes and that weird. There we go. Now once you've got those locked together I'm going to bring him down and lock him around <coughs> excuse me, his beak by just wrapping him in. I'm going to trim this excess white off. We don't need that anymore. Twist it around a couple times to secure it in place. So there's our flamingo's head. Just like that. Now we're going to make about a fiber, well about a seven inch neck. And we're going to make a little pinch to it. And about a five inch, four to five inch body. Another pinch twist. Then another bubble the same size as that one. Just like that, you can see them coming together now. Now what I want is about a two and a half, it needs to be a little longer than half of that. Two and a half to three inch bubble. We're gonna make another pinch twist. And then another bubble about the same size. Twist up into the back. And what's left is going to be the flamingo's tail. I'm just going to squeeze it out and kind of shape it like that. So there's our flamingo's tail. And then I'm going to take the yellow 160 and I'm going to make a little small bubble, about a half inch, followed by a pinch twist. And then I'm going to make a little triangle by making another bubble about maybe an inch, a slightly smaller bubble. And then another bubble the same size as that one there. Lock those together. And that becomes one foot. Now I'm going to make about a three and a half to four inch bubble. I'm going to make another little triangle like that without the pinch twist. That's going to be his foot that's up resting on the first one. Now I'm going to make about a two and a half to three inch bubble, just slightly shorter than that one. And I'm going to twist into that pinch twist on the bottom. I'm going to move the pinch twist up where it's inside this triangle. Then I need another bubble the same size as that one. A little small bubble, that's a pinch twist. And then another bubble the same size as this bottom one over here. Twist that into a little triangle up on top. And then we're gonna make one more little bubble like this little one back here sticking out the back. Pop off the excess. Tie that off. Trim it up. And you have a flamingo standing on two legs. He's kind of tall, so we'll adjust the camera.